Now, before I ever got pregnant, I was petrified of labour. I just had this, I don't think irrational fear of labour, but I really, I couldn't hear about anybody's story. I would have to leave the room because I'd just get so faint. So I did quite a, well, I did anything I could to get myself ready for labour. I did hypnobirthing, I did the NCT, um, and yeah, I just wanted to be as prepared as I could. And I, um, I did have a birth plan. I think once you've had your first baby, you basically say birth plan, schmirth plan. It, it doesn't usually go the way you wanted. My waters broke in the morning and they basically broke all day, which is quite unusual and um, nothing nothing else happened. Um, they were just breaking all day, I was fine, I'd been for coffee, I'd been for lunch, um, I'd been to be checked to make sure everything was all right, and they were like, yeah, that's your water's broken. Um, and then my contraction started in the evening, about sort of seven-ish, and I'd been told, once they're four minutes apart and lasting up to a minute, it's time to get into hospital. So I did that and they checked me out and there was the smack in the face. She said, you're only one centimetre dilated. And I was just horrified. I thought, oh my God, how am I gonna get to 10 centimetres when I'm already for you know contractions every four minutes? So um, I just had to, to, to deal with it. They sent me home. There was, I had a bit of a bleed, not a, not a big bleed, but I was just bleeding just a tiny little bit while I was in the bath. So, uh, I called the midwife unit again and they said, yeah, if you're bleeding, you need to come back. So I went back and I'm like, come on, this is this gotta, gotta be happening soon. And uh, she checked me again. I was two centimeters and I was just thinking, how am I going to do this? And she said, I really think you should go home. And I just was crying, just going, don't send me home. Please don't send me home. Um, they, they checked the heartbeat and they weren't happy with that. They weren't happy with the sound of the, the heartbeat. So they put me on a monitor and that is really when birth plan really went out the window. Because... So basically the contractions went all the way through the night and I was exhausted. Um, I wasn't ready to push till 6 a.m. Bearing in mind that my waters had broken 8, 8 a.m. The, the morning before. Um, and so I'd done a whole night of contractions. Tilda was just not slightly, was slightly in the wrong position. She was just on a kind of a kilt, on a tilt. And they're supposed to come out from, you know, the head there. And when she eventually came out with help, she had come out from that direction, hence why she wasn't moving. So we had to have a little bit of an assistance. So they came in, said, you're gonna have to have an episiotomy. That was one of the things I was really, really scared of. I was really scared of tearing and I was really scared of having to have an episiotomy. Um, but by that point, you know what? I did not care. I, I, they went ahead and did it. They needed the von Tuss as well, which is the sucky thing that attaches to the head. There's a sucker's on. Um, so 7 a.m. they made that decision. 7.27, Tilda was slap bang on my chest. And oh my God goodness there is not a feeling like it you go oh god <laughs> didn't, didn't expect that um you go from having the hardest time to forgetting it almost instantly it's it's insane and it's empowering it's incredible and whether you needed any extra help or anything it's whew, it's pretty amazing and you won't believe that you actually did it. You get to the point where you think you cannot do this and that's normally the point where the baby's gonna be with you within minutes and yeah, it is special. It is really, really special and um, yeah, even though I can't quite remember, there's hazy, hazy parts of the actual labour, I will never forget the moment that she landed on my chest. And that was, yeah, just the most incredible moment.